All right, guys, Tommy, and welcome to a new video. So before I get started on this weekly Raw preview prediction show I do, remember to hit that subscribe button in the top left-hand left corner of this video. It does actually make you subscribe to my channel as soon as you click the annotation, and you'll get these weekly for Monday Night Raw and SmackDown every single week. How brilliant is that? But this week's Monday Night Raw is in the Tyson Event Center in Seo City, Iowa, so it should be a pretty raucous crowd which is always great now there's a few questions that are basically circling around this week's monday night raw and it should be absolutely great now there's five points that wwe.com are expressing about what could happen on tonight's monday night raw the first of july 2013 the first point is Heyman guys versus the prime time players now last week on monday night raw we had cm punk against Darren Young, but this week we're going to have Curtis Axel, who actually helped CM Punk last week after Titus O'Neil and Darren Young attacked CM Punk at the end of their match when CM Punk won Darren Young. Now we're getting Curtis Axel and CM Punk, two Paul Heyman guys, teaming up with the primetime players being Darren Young and Titus O'Neil. Neil. Now, this will be a very interesting match for the new Intercontinental Champion to work with CM Punk, but we all know that the story behind this is, is it's going to cause tension for CM Punk and Paul Heyman. So, it'll be interesting to see what actually happens in this match, but I'm expecting possibly for Paul Heyman or Curtis Axel to cause the loss for Curtis Axel and CM Punk so that Punk gets angry with Paul Heyman. Basically, Curtis Axel is the middleman between CM Punk and Brock Lesnar, so Curtis Axel is being used to cause tension between Paul Heyman, CM Punk, and Brock Lesnar. So I'm expecting Titus O'Neil and Darren Young to win this match due to Curtis Axel mistake or possibly Paul Heyman purposely causing a mix-up between CM Punk and Curtis Axel or by accident to cause tension. Now the next thing is Mark Henry for the WWE Championship. Now it is very likely that Mark Henry will cut another promo this week, basically saying uh, or answering back to what John Cena said about how he'll be keeping his eyes open for whoever wins Money in the Bank and he's here to keep the championship. So Mark Henry will basically have a few words for the World Heavyweight, uh, for the World WWE Championship in the WWE Universe and expect to have for him to have a five to 10 minute promo and do possibly expect a John Cena versus Mark Henry promo tonight on Monday Night Raw. Now we've also, for the third point, the aftermath of Alberto Del Rio crashed when his Fiesta on SmackDown got crashed by Dolph Ziggler. Now Alberto Del Rio was celebrating his fourth World Heavyweight Championship reign with a Fiesta Del Rio on the second Friday Night SmackDown after winning the World Heavyweight Championship at WWE Payback 2013. But we'll have the aftermath of when Dolph Ziggler basically ruined this fiesta and started playing with the band that Alberto Del Rio had set up to celebrate himself winning the World Heavyweight Championship at Payback 2013. Now Alberto Del Rio did scarper from the scene after Dolph Ziggler put Ricardo Rodriguez through the table so do expect Dolph Ziggler to make the fun out of Alberto Del Rio for running away and it'll be interesting to see how WWE boil over this feud even more coming into Money in the Bank from two weeks away and it should be a great match. I'm actually looking forward to this match and I am very interested in this feud so I'll be interested to see what angle they choose for this week's Monday Night Raw and it should be pretty good. Now the next thing is AJ Lee and Caitlyn. Now last week on Monday Night Raw AJ Lee dressed up as Caitlyn and disrupted her match. Caitlyn managed to get the win but this week on Friday Night Smackdown Caitlyn dressed up as AJ Lee in AJ's match against Natalia and AJ lost. So what will be the next move for AJ Lee or Caitlyn? Will AJ Lee have another trick up her sleeve or will Caitlyn strike next? That is interesting and I cannot wait for this feud to boil over and um, hopefully we have another great match at Money in the Bank. Now I am expecting Caitlyn to actually win the Divas Championship off AJ Lee at Money in the Bank and then we'll have the last feud at SummerSlam 2013 because to be honest they put on a really really good match and it'll be a shame if we, we kind of stop this feud straight away. So I'm expecting this, this feud to last up until SummerSlam 2013 or I am hoping so hopefully we get a very, very good promo this week. And who will strike first, AJ Lee or Caitlyn? The next thing is, uh, is an angry big red monster coming to Monday Night Raw? So we do know now that on Friday Night Smackdown, Randy Orton faced Kane, Daniel Bryan was at commentary, and Daniel Bryan managed to make Kane lose by tossing him in the ring. He was trying to help him, but as soon as Kane got tossed in the ring by Daniel Bryan, Kane got RKO'd. Now Randy Orton won the match, but Daniel Bryan went up the ramp smiling 
Now, will we have a big red monster Kane versus Daniel Bryan feud at SummerSlam 2013? We don't know. We're expecting a feud between these two. They are on the poster. So, will we get a feud starting between these two? A bit of tension. To be honest, it's, it's, it's setting up to be a really, really good feud. I'm also expecting a little bit of more Ryback and Chris Jericho after Chris Jericho called Ryback a cryback. So, hopefully, we get a little bit more of this feud as well because it really, really needs to start building as we're only two weeks away from Money in the Bank 2013. 13 and it's built, built richly, literally not been built whatsoever. So they really need to get their fingers out and start building this feud between Chris Jericho and um, Ryback. We've also got the two ladder matches. To be honest, they'll happen anyway. You don't really need to build them very much. I'm just looking at the match card now. You've got Mark Henry versus John Cena. Do you expect a Mark Henry promo for the World Heavyweight Championship a ladder match? Don't really expect a lot of build going into this because it's really youngsters who have just been thrown into the match and hoping to win, but I am expecting Wade Barrett to win, so maybe he'll get a, a big win against somebody tonight. You've also got Del Rio versus Dolph Ziggler feud starting to boil over, and hopefully Dolph Ziggler does have a pop at Alberto Del Rio, and does fully turn babyface. It'll be interesting to see what angle they go for on tonight's Monday Night Raw. For the All-Stars, pretty much it's just like, expect Christian to have another match against possibly one member of the Shield, possibly Roman Reigns, or uh, not Dean Ambrose, but uh, Seth Rollins, because they are setting up a Christian versus Dean Ambrose Fever for SummerSlam 2013. Do you expect maybe a Daniel Bryan versus Randy Orton match yet again? Unlikely. Um, it might be somebody against Big Show, somebody who means something to Kane. Well, that's pretty much it I can say for this week's Raw. I'm looking forward to the primetime players versus CM Punk and uh, Curtis Axel. That should be a great match. I'm not watching tonight's Monday Night Raw live, so don't expect any Twitter updates because I've got to be up early for a six-form induction thing. This is the only Monday Night Raw I'm not watching live until the end of the summer holiday, so I'm really, really sorry about that. But don't expect to review either because I won't be doing that, but I will do a results video, but it'll be like two minutes long. So, hope you enjoyed the video, guys. Really looking forward to this Monday Night Raw. Thanks for watching. Hopefully it's a good show and remember to subscribe. Goodbye.